Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, live from Harlem in New York City, it's me, I'm Alex, and this is a ramble. Wow, there he is, the one, the only, Albert Reynoso, yay! Hey, hi Alex, how are you? How you doing? Good, thank you. What's new? Uh, nothing much, really, I don't think. Nothing, nothing happening in your life down there in the wonderful Florida? Gee. No, no, not really. Did you get any of that hurricane? We got rain, but we always get rain in the summertime. Every afternoon it rains nicely. Because we got the hurricane here. We got a lot of wind yesterday, you know. Yeah, well, Deb don't, don't get the hurricane, that's okay. Debbie, she was a blowing no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, you're feeling uh, healthy. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Everything's good here. Now you you don't you don't go to a doctor for checkups, do you? I do not. No. Uh, because you figure if you don't go to a doctor, there can't be anything wrong with you, right? Well, maybe there's something wrong with me, but if I don't feel it and and and, and no fluids are leaking, then I. Don't really need. What to was you saying? If it doesn't, if it doesn't, uh... doesn't, if it doesn't, if it's there's no pain and there's no blood, probably no reason to go to the doctor. I never went when I was younger. They never said, "Oh, you have to go for an annual checkup." For what? Why? So they can get well, more money. Well, at your age, you know, they want to start looking for a yacht. Well, that's too bad for them. Then they're not going to get it off. I me. mean, every time I go to my doctor now, he sees something in there that oh, you better go see this doctor and you better go see that doctor. You know, because at eighty-four, they think uh, yeah, I'm going to die of everything. You know, no, you're easy prey. That's what it is. It's the medical industrial complex preying on the people they can prey on the most. I mean, I wonder if you I believe that any of these companies or any of these medical institutions are going to come up with a cure for cancer. Forget about it. They want everybody to have cancer so they can sell their drugs to everybody to keep them alive on their drugs as long as they possibly can with cancer and with whatever the hell they can get. Right. So. Right. Well, I, you know, I wonder, uh, like I had the prostate cancer, so they did the radiation, two types of radiation. And then I have the leukemia. Now, in the case of the prostate cancer, it really hadn't developed that badly. It was just there was a cancerous lobe, okay? Uh, in the case of the leukemia, this is something that they don't even say is, well, they say, they say you'll die with it, not from it, okay? So and I'm wondering don't if, know I never, that if I never went to the doctor at all, would I have died of either of these things? According to them, no. What do you mean, according to them, no? They're the ones that told you that you're not going to die from it. You well, don't know they, uh, with the prostate will, cancer, with the prostate cancer, they uh, they didn't take any chances, man. They they gave me the radiation, you know, sitting there while this thing goes around and, you know, then zaps you, right? Good, good money in that. They zap you for about 10 seconds, you go home, you know. Yeah, okay. And then... Then I get the leukemia thing, and the doctor goes, well, we'll just see you every three months or every six months. And uh, uh, you have no symptoms, and as long as you don't have any symptoms, then we're not going to treat it. Okay? Right. Yeah. So every, every like, next time is four months, I go in to see him, and they draw some blood, and they look and see what's happening. And, all right, is anything bothering you? No, I don't feel any different than I felt before. And, uh, you know, that's it. Have we reached the five-minute uh, uh, limit? What do you mean the five-minute limit? I'm talking about uh, uh, medical stuff because this is. I go out with a with a, a few guys uh, every week or couple of weeks, and we go to the local brewery and we yeah. talk about stuff. And there's a rule: you can't go longer than five minutes talking about health or health care or anything regarding health or illness or sickness because who cares anymore? Well, you see, when That's you get stuff. to be my age. That's the only thing you have to talk about. 
Well, then that then that's a very sad life, uh, Alex. You should talk about other things and not just health. Well, I I, I would like to, but uh, everybody else at the table talks about health, so you know. What well, I would tell them. Let's have, establish uh, the five minute rule. That's yeah, all. You know, uh, and I've had I've had cancer twice now. Happy to happy to hear it. Let's go for three. Uh, yeah, right. Do I get a gold medal for that? With the gold, silver, and the bronze. <laughs> I'll put it on your tombstone, which you'll never get Yeah, either. well, you know, I think at this age that I'm at, there are several kinds of cancers you can get, and none of them are serious, you know. They're all part of getting older. You know? Which is uh, a, a great thing to talk about if you want to feel old. Yeah, yeah. So, but, uh, and you're getting older. You're what now? Well, what, but here's another thing. Everybody's getting older, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're how old now? I keep forgetting. 62. 62. Okay. Right. Able to get my Social Security and my pension. 22 years younger than I am. Right. Why are yeah. you even talking to me? I don't know, but if you continue talking about health and... Uh, You're not going to, that, <laughs> right? That's the end of it. Because, I, as I said, five minutes, I give you five minutes after that, it's got to well, end. Well, I have always it's taken your advice. Time. If it doesn't bleed, and what was the other thing? If there's no pain or it doesn't bleed, there's no need to see the doctor. Right. Okay. And I'm not I talking about... I you live a long you know, life with that philosophy. Comfort. What? Yeah. I'm not talking about discomfort. I'm talking about pain. Pain, not discomfort. Well, we're All at right. six minutes okay. now. We're at six minutes and we're still on the topic. So let's, okay, let's move along. Okay. Let's go to uh, what, uh, oh, well, uh, you know, the, all the election stuff and everything. Are you excited yeah. about Cam Kamala? Or Cam uh, Kamala? Yeah. Kamala? Really? You can't pronounce it either? Why is that so hard a name to pronounce? Why is it so hard? Kamala. Kamala. Like mama, but with a K. Mamala Kamala. Kamala. Right, okay. there you go. I, I didn't do the soft A, I did the hard A, Kamala. Well, learn it the right, the right way. Everybody Kamala. says Alex Kamala. and not Alex. Kamala Harris. No, it's not Kamala, it's Kamala. Huh? Kam Kamala. It's Kamala. Am I excited? Um, you know, it was easier when we had a guy named Barack Obama. Okay, that was easy. They're all easy. It's it, Names aren't that tough. All you have to do is learn it, and, and it you'll learn you'll know it forever. Okay, Kamala. That's it. Done. Okay. If you can say Tim, you can say Kamala. All I care about is I know how to spell her name and I can see it on a ballot. You know. You'll see it on the ballot. Yeah. So you, are you that. excited? I mean, there seems to be a... Uh, the Dems are on a sugar rush right now. Well, they're not on a sugar rush. They're uh, justifiably um, optimistic about the change in what has happened. And there's nothing sugar rush about it. There, this has been a drastic change in the party. There's been a drastic change, certainly in the ticket. And by the way, I've, I have never, and uh, for those who don't know, I'm an independent, not affiliated with either side. Um, but I have to say, I have never seen the Democratic Party so together um, and so uh, right about the message that they want to give. Right. Which which not only includes uh, being able to push back against the opposition very effectively with simple words, but also discussing issues consistently over and over and over again. And that there's a gr groundswell for this change almost immediately is not surprising at all. They're doing a great job. It's, it's amazing, actually. And, and, yeah, and they've, they've hit all the right notes. You know, it's... it's uh, it's positivity, mm -hmm. you know, joy. It's everything we've needed for, oh, God, how many years in politics since Obama? Well, all, all your, if you look through your whole life, you, you can say that, that, that this is the way it should have been. This is the way campaigns should be, you know, where you, where you give all the information and you're able to, uh, to, to, to put up a good fight, which they are very much able to do now. So, yeah. 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 Very, very but I mean, it's, it is it's the most nice, interesting. It's a nice positive message, and there's a lot of hope and joy and all of that. Uh, and after, uh, what? Four, uh, 
All the years of Trump, okay, it's got to be 10 now, at least, that we had him on our, in our presence, on our radar. Uh, it's so nice to not have that. And also with Biden, you had kind of a tired old guy. You know, this is very refreshing politics, you know. And the, and the Democrats, who were about ready to commit uh, suicide... Uh, rather than go ahead with the election, uh, I think have a great new renewed hope that they haven't had in years. It's amazing. It's just amazing. I, I, I've never been concerned with, and I didn't like it during the uh, Obama campaign with hope. Hope is useless. Hope goes nowhere. What you have to do is what's being done here. Find the best person to do the job Yeah, and run them. And how, do how, it. How, okay, that being the case, how good do you think she is for that? I think she's the most qualified person to do the job right now in this country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and again, I'm an independent, but of the people of the people who have their hat in the ring, that's the one that I think is the most qualified to run the country. Would you have thought that of her four years ago? No. Because she wasn't, she wasn't in that position four years ago. Four years ago, I, I been... didn't think she was a good idea for president. Okay, and now I think she's the best, as you said, the best idea for president. So, so what's wrong with that? Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on to to to, to getting these people in office. Then, yeah. Now, as an odds maker, how uh, what do you give the odds of her winning? Uh, quite good. Quite good. Quite good. Yeah. Seventy-five percent. I don't know what the percentage is, but it's certainly over fifty percent. Yeah, well, the latest the polls today have her in the lead by five points in like Pennsylvania, and uh, I think I think I saw Georgia there. You know, they should... that, if the message continues, the the numbers will go up. Yeah, they have nowhere to go. But and up. as long as somewhere along the line she doesn't fuck up. Well, I don't think she's going to fuck up. I don't. I don't think that uh, that. that that they're going to stump. Well, the, they may they may make a misstep, but it's not going to be a stumble where they're going to you know collapse to the ground. I think uh, I think the uh, the the opposition campaign is has really more to worry about in that oh, yeah. respect, and always has had that to worry about. And if you look at the last, I don't know when when this is going to be on uh, Gabnet, but if you if you look at the last few um, rallies and uh, press conferences. Uh, of of Trump, it's it's just not working. He's it's, giving up. That's not he, the guy. He's giving up. I don't know. Well, I don't. I don't think he ever gives up. But he's certainly getting angry, and he's uh, certainly getting uh, flustered by the whole thing. There's no question about mm -hmm. that. Is mm -hmm. he giving up? I doubt he'll give up. I mean, there's no reason for him to give up. Well, he's giving up in that he's. He, and this will probably be on next Thursday. Okay. Um. Uh. We're he may be out of the race Saturday. by that time. Who what? Knows? He may well, be that out of the race by that time. He could be out of the race by then. No, he, he, um, uh, he, he you got Walls, okay, who's the vice president guy. Uh, the only thing about him that bothers me, he's just so goody goody, you know. It, 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 it I just, it's, he's just not my kind of guy. I like a guy with a little more edge, but a guy with a little more edge can't win. So, Can anybody win in your eyes, though? If he's too goody-goody, if he's not a good guy, he's a great candidate. There's no question oh, no, about it. Oh, no, he's terrific. He's terrific. There's no question about it. And and he, he, he is as good, if not better, than Shapiro, than Buttigieg, than, than all these guys. Uh, you know, good a good qualified uh, field of people to be on the ticket with Harris. And, and he's also continuing is just as that good, if not better than all of them. He's he's continuing that joyful mode while being a little bit of the knife in the back guy. You know, I he don't see him as a knife in the back guy. Well, I mean, he go, he yeah, goes out there and then he calls out Trump and says things like uh, with that, Vance. That's, with that's Vance. not a knife in the back. That's a punch in the face. That's something you see coming. And he he I don't think he's a knife in the back guy at okay. all. Okay, all right. I'm all sure right. when he's I'll coming after you, you you'll I, see him coming. I agree with you that I came up with the wrong terminology. Okay. But don't I always? No, most of the time, but not always. Most of the time, there was one I you I got you on once. You just hated it. I can't remember now. 
There are quite a few things I've said that that you you kind of you know misnomers. Misnomers. Yeah, but I, but I love you. That's why I'll tell you when I don't agree with you. Well, that's I why I like working with you. You know, you, you'll tell me that sucked. Why not? Although you never told I me anything I life. did particularly sucked. You know, you seem to like what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was good at it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we were together ten years. I guess one one out of the ten years was really good. You know, so that's right. One out of the ten years was good, <laughs> and you stuck with me. Well, it was a good paycheck. Yeah, it was a good paycheck. Right. <laughs> I love loyalty. Anyway, uh, no, but that you know, um, yeah, you know, you always used to tell me when something was bad, didn't work. I did that with everybody I've worked with. Yeah. And I'd expect the same back from anybody. How many, of them, ex how many of them accepted that? I mean, I accept that. I like a guy who is somebody who tells me when I'm bad. Everybody, everybody but one person uh, I worked in that way with. And, I, you know, I don't say you're bad. I mean, and you can tell the difference between the people you're working with on how you can give that message. Some of them I would be able to say, man, that was just fucking horrible. Why did you do that? And they didn't have a problem with well, that. Oh, I was easy yeah. to work with, wasn't I? Yeah. I never well, had. Yeah. Did, I ever have temper, did I ever have temper tantrums? Or you, you did have a couple of, um, uh, how would I say this, uh, uh, excited times. Yeah. Excited times, yeah. is that how you put it? With, with me a, a few times, with management a few times. Oh, management, I always did that. Management, I always did that. I always like to drive management nuts, you know? You've got a contract, so it doesn't matter what you say to Like, me. didn't we used to have to go in every morning and do a, a, a meeting with the general, with the program director? Not, not, not when we were together, no. Really? No. Oh, I know where it was. It was at Live 105. The program yeah. director brought me in every day, and I hated it. I hated it because, I'm sorry, how long have you been in this business? How long have I been in this business? And you're sitting here critiquing me. Plus, you hired me, you're paying me a lot of money, and you're critiquing me? Well, it's an asshole move. It, 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 micromanaging like that is just an asshole yeah, so move. So finally, one day he said, I don't think we need to have these meetings any longer. And he, I said, why? He said, because I have no place critiquing you. You have the experience that I don't have. And I went, okay, that's honest. And we never had another meeting. And how long did it take for him to do that? About a year. <laughs> no. But finally he decided that it was a stupid idea. Number one, it was a stupid idea because he critiqued me and say you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. And then I'd go back in the next day and do everything he told me not to do. You know, and I never took his advice. Well, if if anything, and I wouldn't even advocate this. If anything, he should have spoken to your uh, producer or support staff uh, regarding any concerns that he had, and not directly to you. Right. Well, then the, at 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 uh, at uh, uh, Sirius XM, uh, uh, we had a program director, and uh, yeah, I liked the guy. I thought he was a decent enough guy. I liked him. Uh, but again, I didn't feel he had the experience to be critiquing me. On the other hand, I felt you had the experience to critique me. So I would always listen to whatever you had to say. Oh, I missed I miss that opportunity then because I could have critiqued you a lot more. I, really? I should have done that. Oh, yeah. Well, what was the worst thing I, I and critiquing doesn't mean only bad things. What was the worst part about my personality on the air and my handling of stuff on the I'm air that not, you I'm not, I'm that not you didn't this. like? Come on, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. That that you allowed people to screen calls in the studio was one of the worst things. I think that's a, that that that's. But a I didn't do thing. that. That was that was the setup by the uh, by the. Yeah, but company. you allowed it, and I I mentioned. Time and time again, this is not a professional way to do this, uh, and yet they they well, still. Why do it. you couldn't hear her? Her mic was off. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. You can hear it in the background. Really? 
Yeah, I was the one that had to edit the stuff. I heard it all the time. Yeah, well, then you, but you never mentioned it, though. I mentioned it many times. I mentioned it Where to would, you. What would you have done? Put her in another room? Yes. You don't have somebody talking on the phone while people are on the radio. That, that, that's just not right. Then again, we didn't take that many calls, did we? Are you kidding? You took calls constantly. Okay. I'm 84 Con years old. I forgot it all. Okay. You know. Well, you, you took a lot of calls. It was, I think it was a fun, what, nine and a half years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I enjoyed it. Yeah. As it was long just as hitting it its stride, I think. Huh? It was just hitting its stride. It was, wasn't it? Huh. It just was, getting there. It was better than it had ever been. I think so. But and then they just cut us off at the knees. Nothing lasts forever. They fired him, too. Listen, th those people will be fired, too, down the road. It will happen to everybody. Yeah. So take solace. Well, in the that. way Even things people up in management will get fired. The way things are going in this business is a good chance they'll get fired the next time the stock goes down. You That's know, possible. I mean, Listen, I look at these look. companies like Disney letting off uh, 3,000 employees, and I go, I'm never going to go see another Disney film. Screw them. You know, the, the last thing that you should do is let people go. Well, in the case of Disney, I have to agree with them. You think, why, you have stock? I have a lot of stock. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Disney stock. No, because the, the fact is that it, if, if there's a problem with the company, the company's not making money, it's not the fault of the people who are working there. It's the fault of the people at the top. You get rid of them first. Generally, that's the smart thing to do. That's what I would think. They never do it. American business doesn't work like that. Capitalism doesn't work like that. Capitalism sucks. Well, no, capitalism doesn't suck. But capitalism in the form it is in now is a very bad system. That's, that's my opinion. I mean, I'm looking at the stock market every day. Because every day... That's a mistake as well. Well, if you don't look at it, it will probably get back to wherever it was eventually. You know? Yes, it will. But, I mean, I uh, I invested all my money. You know, I got a lot of money, and then I cashed in a lot of money. And I put all that money, most of it except for about $125,000 of it, in, into stock. Because I couldn't stand seeing it sit in a bank getting... I think I looked and saw it on $100,000, I got $3.25, you know. I don't want that. But now I'm losing money because I got it in the stock market. But it, that, that, too, will correct itself. So. And how do you make decisions on what you're going to invest in? I have a guy who does it. Oh, okay. A very good guy, supposedly. The guy Gary knows. He's doing it for me for nothing as a, as a uh, what do you call it, a favor to Gary, my business manager. And um, uh, he just took it and put, uh, put 100000 left 100000 in the bank and took the rest of the money and put it into Fidelity accounts and uh, into uh, uh, the uh, federal account, okay, which mm -hmm. will mature in three years which I can take out at any time if I want to. So. Okay, good. So anyway, it's, it, you know, it's a good plan. It's a fairly good plan. The only problem is the stock market took a real dump in the last couple of weeks, and it's getting back up there. It's, you know, it's inching its way back. So, But you better expect that because that's what it does. Every, and it's specifically every few years there's an adjustment of some kind. Well, we, we haven't even had a big fall in, in, in a while since 2008, so... Well, expect, we just had one of, of about two, about one, about $1,500 total. It, it just belched, you know. That's not a big... But now we're up about 1000 up to, uh, you know, got about 1000 of that back. But the thing is, Gary, my business manager, says, do not look at how much you've made and lost. He said, over the long run, you're going to make money. You know. Yeah, don't don't look at it until you need to 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 uh, to cash it out. That's I when just you saw at. I just saw the most wonderful thing. In back of you is your cat, and all I can see is the cat's legs, 
and the cat went for a stretch. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> and I love that with cats. Yeah. She's a big stretcher. She's a big sleeper and stretcher. She is a cat. Yeah. Cover that uh, background because otherwise I don't have any light on you. Okay. But anyway, so I mean, you know, uh, um, uh, and I think, you know, overall the economy's okay. You know, it's not, it's not terrible. If you listen to Trump, it's horrible. It's the worst it's ever been. Totally failing economy like we've never seen before. <laughs> there you go. The best mm -hmm. impression of Trump. No, not really. Well, but it, but, but it, the character is there. I, I love, um, I, I just, I, you know, he's a cartoon. If, if he were, it might be funny, but he's just not. He's just not. I don't even know what you would describe that as. It's not a cartoon. It's not a caricature. It's not a comic figure. It's just, uh, it, it's a sad... You know what it is? It's a doddering old man. But it's not. And by the way, why do more people call him Don Old? Because now that he's the oldest guy in the race, Don Old should be his name. He's the oldest man ever to run for president. Right. So let's call him Don Old from now instead of Donald. Don yeah. Old. And, and he is, I think, his brain, it, we, we thought of, you know, uh, Biden's brain is going. Uh, and I think he was having problems. He was having real problems. And but, there's no reason not to think that but, at that age. But Trump has the same amount of problems that way, you know? I well, mean, he's had some problems before going, in, going into this uh, decline in mental capacity. So that kind of adds to it. Oh, His I just look. The things that he says are real or, or true in any way, you know, <laughs> that, that just starts the problem. But the I fact just that looked. mental capacity decreases. We're is way over time. We ran. Oh, well, okay. we're, we're into 26 minutes now. Oh, well, let's call this quits and we'll do another one. And uh, I'll talk to you soon, like about a minute and a half, but about okay. a week or two for the other people out there. Bye. That's Albert Reynoso, folks. Bye, Albert. Bye, Alex. Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much, Albert Reynoso. Very nice talking to you. Uh, nobody's calling us right now, and I, uh, I have a tendency to not want to go any further with this because here's what happened. I, I, yesterday, we went out and we got uh, our flu shot, our COVID shot, and our RSV shot. And this morning, I woke up. Every bone in my body was aching. I was just, I, I can't tell you how bad it was, okay? And uh, I really had a, you know, had a thing going. It was terrible, it was just terrible. So um, uh, I, I don't feel all that well, okay? Uh, I may sound a little perky, but when I stand up, I'm like lightheaded and I'm just, you know, and I'm still feeling a little feverish and, you know, all those things. And really, they shouldn't give you that many shots at one time, you know. But I had all three of them, and they did, okay? I want to play something for you, and then we're probably just going to sign off early here and uh, since nobody's calling. And uh, if somebody does call, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead with the show anyway. Uh, but, you know, for years I've told this story about how I was watching the Jerry Lewis telethon on Labor Day, right? And uh, uh, what happened was is I had on my radio show said something negative about Jerry Lewis. I, I, I kept saying that he wasn't much of a, uh, uh, wasn't much of a uh, uh, performer or whatever. I, I wasn't crazy about him. But I had to hand it to him. He does a good job of... Uh, of uh, of uh, doing the telethons, you know, and raising money, and I had to give him credit for that. Well, the radio station had gotten in trouble earlier that year for not letting someone know when their name had been besmirched. And, and so they got dinged by the FCC, 
And because they didn't want that to happen, excuse me, folks, because they didn't want that to happen again, uh, it, uh, you know, it was, uh, they, they started sending out letters to people. Like if somebody would say something nasty about some particular person, they would send them a letter saying, here's what he, Alex Bennett said about you. And uh, 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 if you want to respond, you're welcome to have equal time to respond to what he said. So uh, <laughs> I got to tell you, it's amazing. So uh, 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 this is like 1978, I think, I saw. I, I can't remember now. But anyway, uh, it was the, uh, how can I put it? It was the... Uh, um, Jerry Lewis telethon that year, and he dedicated "You'll Never Walk Alone" to me. And as much as I've told this story, uh, most people don't believe me because it just seems implausible. I finally found it, ladies and gentlemen. I finally found it. Here we go. Let me play this for you, okay? All right. You will now be privileged to hear him screw up this last arrangement. <laughs> Go ahead, Louie, let's see if we can get it right. To the DJ in New York, I'm gonna try desperately to make it. That was it, <laughs> right there, <laughs> right there. Okay, I will uh, probably make a, uh, cut that out and make it into a file and we can play it, you know. Uh, Jeffrey Stein is the only person calling right now, and uh, let me just say hello to Jeffrey because I don't want to I don't want to leave him hanging. But uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, hey Jeff, can you hear me? No, he can't hear me yet. He can't hear me yet. He can't hear me yet. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I you know uh, oh there are you there Jeff? You can hear me? Yeah. Stein is the only person calling right oh. now. And uh, let me just say hello to Jeffrey. Because I hello to, there. Uh, I you got to turn man. that audio off. Jeffrey? Bingo. Okay, you got it. Okay. I got it. Here, come, anyway. here comes Alan. Um, you know, um, where is Alan? Uh, there he is. Okay, hello, Alan. You're eating something. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Oh, I was God. I was listening to your thing and didn't log on till I was going to let you finish your monologue and then yeah, yeah, my cookie. Uh, so now do you believe me that he dedicated "You'll Never Walk Alone" to me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you must have uh, said it a couple of times. Well, I've told the story. But, you know, yeah. everybody's kind of going, yeah, sure, he, he dedicated You Never Walk Alone to you. And and that was it. It couldn't have been anybody first time else. I've heard it. Huh? Yeah. It couldn't have it's been anybody else. the first time else. I've heard it. Yeah. So anyway, I found it. So <laughs> anyway, uh, I am I am feeling just, I, you know, I, 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 flu shots are not pleas pleasurable, you know? And I had the uh, flu shot yesterday. I had the COVID shot yesterday, and I had the uh, what was the other shot? The uh, RSV shot. And I woke up this morning feeling like every bone in my body was aching. You know, you. and I'll I, teach you to get more than one shot at a time. <laughs> yeah, and I slept. I slept most of the day. I just kept sleeping. Well, yeah. you know, if you don't want to do a show, there's only two of us. Go ahead and uh, oh, take a break. Well, here comes Brian Neary. Now it's starting oh, okay. to fill up. So, you know. All right. I can't exactly yeah. hang up on Brian Neary because, Oh, you know. no. Jeff and me, yes, but Brian, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, Brian. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. Very good. <laughs> Did you hear my Jerry Lewis? Yeah, I heard you, Jerry Lewis. Yes. <laughs> I, I believed you. Somebody on this panel didn't, but I believed you. Well, I sat there looking at my TV set, you know, because I always, I always tuned in for Jerry singing You'll Never Walk Alone. I found it one of the most hilarious moments in television. All right? 
And <laughs> and so I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden he says to that DJ in New York, blah 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 blah, and I'm going, that's me, because <laughs> I knew they had sent that letter to him. So how is he going to know about that? You know, unless he got the letter. So you know, there I am. But anyway, so I got up this morning, every bone in my body aching. Uh, yeah. I all day long I kept dozing off, you know, and uh, now I'm awake, but I really wish I could go to bed right now. <laughs> you know, I mean it's one of those things, you know, where you just feel, uh, you know. I think you'll feel better tomorrow. I'm sure I will. Yeah. I'm sure. and, uh, and I'm sure Brian would agree with Jeff and I that you can go ahead and shut the show down and go to bed. No, I'm, I'll, I'll stick with it for a while here. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, a, what an a-hole. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I got some news. What? I bought, uh, I think Alan, Alan knows this one, but uh, I bought an electric vehicle. Oh. Uh -huh. I bought an electric Cadillac last couple of weeks ago. Really? And then uh, tonight I bought another McLaren. <laughs> yeah, can I say something here? Uh, it is no, uh, I don't think it's a mystery to our audience that Brian is kind of separated from his significant other. Am I right? Can I say that? I'm single, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the minute he became, you know, most guys, the minute they become single, the first thing they do is go out and get laid. <laughs> right? He did. He bought another McLaren. Okay, but Brian <laughs> buys cars. Point. Brian <laughs> buys cars. That's right. Yeah. You know? God. Uh, he's, yeah, had, yeah. he's had 50 years of getting laid. It's now time no, to, I, to buy McLarens. What, I, what year think, did you get? I think I only got like 10 more years of driving, so I figure, you know... Might as well buy some assets. What do you mean you only so, have 10 more years of driving? How old are you now? 50-something, 50 56, 57. 56? Like so why do you figure you have 10 more years then? You're not going to be able to drive any know. longer? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But really? So. No. Well, I'm thinking about buying a car, to be honest with you. I've decided <laughs> that I can't walk for, for shit, right? Mm. So if I were to uh, get myself a, you know, a car... Uh, uh, and drive, I probably can get around. Ah, California I'm, has made it really hard for people 70 and over yeah. to continue to get their driver's license. I don't know what New York's like. Well, I got one, what, two years ago? Oh, so you have a driver's oh, license. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, you know. But they didn't, a lot safer than they didn't the ask me to take a car out on the road or anything like that, you know. Oh, oh man, my stupid battery is going down. Oh, there we go. Oops. There yeah. go. So there, there's my there's my old McLaren. Nice. <laughs> there's your the old, old McLaren. McLaren. The old the old beater McLaren. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then, this is uh this is uh, my brand new uh yeah. So it's a oh, Cadillac. Okay. Uh, oh my god, so beautiful inside. I don't have the keys. It's like white interior. It's got a huge screen. Oh my god! One of my one of my neighbors. It, has listen, one of you you can if you, if you if you if you want to, and we'll just turn our heads the other way. You can masturbate as you look at the car. You know? I did it already a couple times. <laughs> That's the old one. I don't have the new one yet. Now wait a minute. Now, uh, th this one will get how many miles on a charge? Oh, this one is. Uh, it, it's the same as the Tesla. It's a little bit more, but uh, 300, 320 miles. Oh, that's a bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, three hundred twenty, and then um, what else? Yeah, it. it uh, this one's like fully loaded. I, I got I got killer deals on both these cars. So, uh oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. So this this car was. Um, they had this model, uh, a couple of these for sale at the local ones, and then this one was um, Fremont. Mm -hmm. And I went in there with my car, and I was like a baller. I, Wait, I gave. I, I, I got to do, do something. Now. I know. I, I didn't put you guys on. There we go. Oh, oh good. I just showed my car for only you guys. Oh, okay. yeah. You better do that again. Go out there. Yeah. Hey, get, get up. Take the camera out and show them the cars again. I like so, that. Okay. So so uh, this car was I – had, I had a couple papers in my hand from other cars, the same car. This one was a loner that they gave out, and it only had 400 miles. I walked up there to the sales guy. I said, here are my keys. 
go and get my VIN number and my miles and go run to see how much to trade in and give me the keys for this. So he gave me the keys for that. He took my car. He said, go ahead, drive around the block. I drove around the block. And then basically they gave me a number. I told them 5,000 less. They said no. And I said, okay, that's fine. I'm going to go to the other dealer because they have a red one that I want to look at. And of course they said, sit down, we'll work something out. And they went down to my price. So, right. Right. Right yeah. on. But so anyway, that one worked out well. Okay. And this, the McLaren's from a dead guy. <laughs> I'm going to take, your, take your Also, <laughs> it's another used McLaren, but newer than the last one. But the, uh, this one is the best car ever built. So, yeah. Take your car, take your camera out again and show it, okay? Because I didn't <laughs> yeah, have that. Show yeah. the 10 people. Huh? Okay. i show you the 10. Hey, no, two I'll, people I'll sent me house. a message that you weren't being, you weren't out. Yeah, I'll show you my house on the way. So here, this is my new house. Wow, that's nice. Huge room in there, and then the 85-inch TV. Dream. That's where the new McLaren can go. Is well, you yeah, can watch TV, watch TV sitting in the car. Alec, <laughs> you and Marjorie come here, and you guys can live here. I'll take care of you. Oh, okay, good, good. This one has a front garage, and then it's even got the back garage door. <laughs> This house is stupid. Uh, Three-car garage, so I get my old car comes back, or my other McLaren, I don't know. And then this is Adrian's here. This is, uh, oh yeah, you can't really see, but there's a pool. So when she comes up here every other weekend, we go swimming, like, all day long. Yeah, so. Really? Wow. Yeah, and then uh, this is, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, for, for the 20 people watching, that's my uh, that's the a new, new Cadillac. Cadillac. That's a it's new called Cadillac. a Lyric. So it's, it's like an SUV. But all electric, it has cruise control, has the, the handless, and uh, yeah, everything. And that's the, the old McLaren. The new McLaren, I'll go pick up some more. And you, you see how low this thing is, the ground? And now you yes. don't have to wonder why I didn't get in it. <laughs> yeah. I had to get a crane to get me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, but, but you could go in the Cadillac. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. So my neighbor's got one of those Cadillacs, and I actually sat in it the other day. And boy, is it comfortable. I don't know what it costs. It is. It's actually, it's the price of a Tesla. Uh, Tiffany's Y was like 63000 and that's how much I got this one for. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it actually, yeah. So it's very comparable, but it's, I mean, the, this car compared to, uh, oops, this car compared to the Tesla, just, yeah, the styling and, and everything. There's, oh, I got, okay, sorry. I got to show you one other thing. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> this is the I'll, best thing. I'll let you know if he starts masturbating, friends. Uh, you know. I, I just did that. Okay, I don't have to do. Okay, hold on. Let me see if it will work from here. Okay. Okay. Watch. Watch. Here it goes. I think. Hold on. Okay. So hold on. There we go. Okay, that lights up. Now that lights up. That lights is up. That... <laughs> this. And then look at this. Dee, 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 dee. Wow. That's the, only, that's the only reason I bought the car. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. You bought the car because you're in the tech industry, and people in the tech industry always buy cars. Well, they always buy Priuses. <laughs> now, you know what? My my, my other Cadillac uh, was going really bad. It, it started having a lot of problems, so that's why. Now it's somebody else's problem, but Cadillac's problem, but yeah. Yeah. The, so I, I needed an, another car. I had 155,000 miles on it. It started coming up with uh, a lot of issues with it from Cadillac, actually, the transmission and stuff. So, yes, yeah, so I needed to get So it. let's say you go the whole 300 miles. Okay. You you use up most of the, the battery. Uh -huh. And now you plug it in at home. How long does it take to charge? Uh, this one, I think, is eight hours. Six hours or really? eight hours. Really? Yeah. And then actually, so when I first got it, I, crew, I went picked up Adrian. I surprised her, and she loves the car. Because the whole thing has a big sunroof, like the Teslas do, but it's huge. So, so uh, And then I was panicking because I needed to get a charge, and I don't have a charger here at the house yet. I do now. but um, And, uh, yeah, actually, I went and charged it for, for, like, eight hours at one place. It was only, like, $4 or something. But, but then I, I, get it, I get it charged at work. So work has chargers. So we, I get, so I can just, so I drive to work. It only takes like a quarter of a charge to get to work. And then because I, you know, I, I work a couple hours away. So, um, uh, then, um, I, I charge it there at work and for free. And then I just come home and then I'll go back to work tomorrow. And I'll charge it at work. So I don't really have to pay for any charging. Oh, good. 
Good. Yeah, so it works out really well. The car, the car is it, it's really nice. You know, I, I think people should have uh, an EV or a hybrid. I, I wish they had a hybrid. I know Jeff has a hybrid, um, yeah. but I, I, I think they should, you know, go this route for the commuter stuff is really good because all the high tech stuff that's on there. And then, you know, then I have my fun cars. So I, for me, it works out really well. So I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Did you have dental work done today? Who? You. No. Why? Sounds like you're talking with a lisp. No, I'm just excited today. <laughs> okay. He well, starts. I don't know. I guess my voice changes when I get an erection, too. So it's okay. No, I told you that was already done earlier before the show. Okay. Okay. No problem. No yeah. Problem. He gets that out of the way early. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, talk to each other, folks. I'm. I'm not. I'm just feeling. Ugh. Yeah. Man. Don't. Don't. Don't get. You'll all... feel better tomorrow. It's a takes a day or two. No, but they gave first. me all these three shots at one time. Shouldn't it? One in one arm. It? One in the other arm, and the other one yeah. in the forehead. Yeah. No, no, they didn't give it to me. <laughs> no, not in the forehead. <laughs> He said, "How many do you want, and how many in which arms?" And I said, "Well, you know, one in this arm, and one in this arm, and one in my forehead." And he he laughed. Ah, <laughs> I said, "I put them up both over here," and then then they put on the uh, the uh, what do you call it? the um, uh, 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 the what do you call it? Uh, oh, there, there's Don Giller. Hi, Don. Hello, Don. Hi. <laughs> yeah, be, be careful. Be careful. The Republicans are eating dogs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I, um, I just, uh, you know, it's just. Uh, I, but you got him over with, right? What if you had him one at a time? Is it just going to stretch out the pain for three weeks? Well, no, I don't know that I would have gotten as sick as I got mm -hmm. overnight. And then I woke up and every bone in my body was aching. You know, especially the arms where I got the shots, but my legs and everything. And now I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling puny, okay? Uh, but, uh, you know, I just like to Everybody have Everybody listening to the show, this is why you get one shot and a week later you get another one and a week later. Because yep. what it does is it puts your, it, you know, it puts your, your immune system into high gear trying right. to learn how to fight off three diseases at once. I so. Yeah, but it means that it means that the, the immune system is working. It does you don't but you don't need the side effects for it to to work also. Yeah, but look what happened to Alex. This is what's happened. That's right. And that's why I said don't do this. Get it one week, another week and another week or something like that. So Yeah. Anyway, so let me go back yeah. to my. Yeah. Let me go. Well, I just take some of the medications. Huh? Later, in the in the year, and that's my uh, doctor's recommendation. What is? What medications? Well, all of these injections that you've been all taking. All the vaccines. All these vaccines. I don't take them all at one time. First right, of all. Right, right. But that's the second funny. thing is, basically, I wait until like. I don't know, September, October, something like that. Hey, Jeff. It's more likely to be necessary. Hey, right, Jeff, we're in September. Yeah, but I'm talking October. Right, right. <laughs> I, 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 I usually start my flu shot it, towards the end of uh, uh, September. Because yeah, yeah, is... it, only, it only is good for about six months. This is and then, really I, getting... then I'll get my COVID shot when oh, it comes is... out, but I won't get them at yeah. the same day. Oh, this is interesting. And, and RSV is uh, really interesting. I, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. Yeah. Please, please call in. Please call in and let us know when you get your flu shot. Yeah, let us know what shots you had. Just, uh, just to, that's our theme tonight. Phone in with your shots. I'm, a, I'm having both the flu and the COVID shot tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. Well, are you going to? Are they coming to your house? Or are you actually getting out of the house? Uh, I, I have this. Uh, uh, um, Walker with tennis balls. <laughs> Again, Did somebody was hey, listening to the if show. If Alan gave night. it, if Alan gave it to you, watch out! It's going to try to kill you. <laughs> what I don't get, what I don't get is, and I've said this before. I said this yesterday. 
Why, you know, if people are going to put tennis balls on the bottom of their walkers, <laughs> why don't go. they come with the tennis balls? You know? Different sizes. Yeah, that's right. Different, Different color. <laughs> Maybe not everybody wants a plain tennis ball. Exactly. Yeah. They come in yellow and pink and different colors. I get it. Try to Google it. Some yeah. are larger, some are smaller. Just kind of like testicles, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. you have to yeah. cut them or something like that? Testicles or balls? No, what are, they do with yeah. the balls is they cut them. Well, the tennis balls that fit over walkers, you can buy them pre cut. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Oh. Do they. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What? Oh, they do. They do. They have tennis balls really? with hole cut. On on. Uh, you know, why don't door. they just sell these things with the tennis balls? Yeah, they don't. They sell them. Sen senior dot com. <laughs> senior dot com. Mm -hmm. And Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon has them. Oh, Amazon has them. That's where. You don't think I'm going to pay shipping for all these things for Alex, do you? <laughs> yeah. I, I get them through Amazon. Free shipping, Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, I thought that was, I thought that's kind of amazing. Anyway. How you doing, Tony? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Did you, did you notice I got a butt? My sister says, what happened here? I got a buzz cut. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of looks like you're going bald, actually. Yeah, I did. I, you know, I, I get I get it. It growing around here. I just pulled the ball. Just take see, the turn your head down towards the camera so we can. Oh, you're bald for crying out loud. Yeah, I'm totally bald now. Yeah. I, I feel good though, Alex, having like no hair out there. Well, my, uh, you know, you can just cut it all short and it's called. That's, I, yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, I get hair. It's just receding now. So I just, just get tired of it. It gets all curly. I said, I'll just take it all off. I said. I call so, it, Alex, if but, you got these tennis balls, what color would you get them in? <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Oh, he's back to the balls. I would imagine the yellow. Man, oh, don't tell me you're going to send balls. me tennis balls. I don't have a... Uh, uh, I'm not going to send you tennis oh. balls. I just noticed that they come in 17 different colors. I'm, I'm not really? saying... Really? What's I'm the most unusual color you see there? Uh, well, the usual color green. is uh, gray or something like that, oh. you know? You know what I had for dinner tonight? Dog. It was very good. <laughs> Alex, I couldn't call you last night because I forgot. But this guy has totally lost his bird. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my brother watch this. Is, I had People want this. cannot <laughs> stop. People cannot stop talking about that. You know? There's, just, so, there's so many memes. I keep sending them to Tony and, and, and a couple of like, <laughs> Tell my brother, what did he just say? Rewind that. I was in the kitchen getting some snack. So I think he said dogs and cats. And now the Haitians are after him. Oh, yeah. They interviewed Haitians, and they're like, we are the... You know, can I say one thing, Alex? <laughs> and no. I'm not going to get you in trouble. You know what I find funny? He pretty much badmouthed all the Haitians, so they're getting, <laughs> like, they're afraid for their life. But <laughs> when certain people said, I'm surprised nobody went, took a bum rush at him, everybody was all upset about, oh, don't say that about Trump. This guy raises hell everywhere he goes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't get it. Because you know what I heard? I was My brother heard from the news. Uh, he was in the city today. They have He's having a rally at Nassau Coliseum or whatever they call that out there now in Long Island with the Islanders play. Mm -hmm. And now the Haitians out there are going to pick it next week. Good. I Good. Don't, they I, should throw tomatoes yeah, at him. I don't think he can fill that place. Oh. Hey, that's a big place. That's a new state. That's a new uh, hockey ring down there. No, but he's had a hard time, you know. Filling I mean, there. Alex, when he said dogs and cats, did you, what did you first, like, what did you say to yourself? Like, is huh? he just that crazy? Yeah, I fell on the floor. Hold on a second, I have to blow my nose. Oh. Yeah, but the, the memes are so funny. They, they, they have his speech in the background, and you see all these cats, like, turn around, and the eyes go really big. They, they blend all that video in. It's so hilarious. By the way, I have a uh, I have a, a, a little cartoon I sent Marjorie, and yeah. it is a cat <laughs> on a counter, yeah. and there's a toy Republican <laughs> elephant, yeah. and it's knocking it off the counter. <laughs> Send me that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, has he, has he lost it? Totally, you think? A long time ago, you didn't notice. <laughs> 
No, but now he's like, is he officially? What are, they, what are the old people call that? Somebody said this is he's bottomed out. They made like a remark, like he's bottomed out. Yeah, it's like I think I think he's totally, totally like today. I was watching the speech in Arizona, and he's selling the mirror in Pennsylvania. I just this fucking guy. I don't know where the fuck he is. He said he was in Pennsylvania. He said he was in Pennsylvania. I swear to God. I'm like, I tell my brother, did you want? We we're watching the football games. Is this guy is totally half fucking baked? I said. Wow. And now he already said, I'm not going to have any more debates. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, oh, like yeah. that was a surprise. Wow. Because he he claims that he won. And yeah, well, the winner doesn't need Sean Hannity. Went to Sean Hannity, yeah. But oh, you, you know, are we going to see something like what was the movie the producers when they tried to make they tried to make like a, a the Hitler right the springtime for Hitler right? Oh, that was uh, wasn't it? Are, are we going to surprise be surprised if Trump writes a book and said I I didn't want to be president I kept doing these stupid things and, and you guys still voted me in and I kept saying you know drink bleach. Well, I often, and stick I a, often described what was going on with uh, Trump as being like the producers. Yeah. You know, that it's like he's doing everything he can to lose. Yeah. Right. And and there are enough stupid people in this country that it's he's winning. Good. Yeah. Oh, my God. If he wins, I'll fucking And run. people like Tony that just say, oh, finally he's lost it. After all this time. <laughs> well, I was pulling for the assassination by luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, God, thank God he's okay. I don't know how I would get by, by the be, Yeah, okay. I'm glad you said that. I know. Because I got enough problems with uh, fucking YouTube. What happened now? They get me again? Yeah. If you had listened to the show last night, they got, you would have heard it, Tony. It got me on music this time. Really? What? what I thought you were allowed to play music, uh, though. You, you know what? Music? The theme song that we've been playing for like five years, six years. Uh, really? Yes. They got nothing better to do. They sent me this thing, and I go, you can't play that. That's not... You know, and I wrote them, and I said, I have the rights to it. <laughs> it's know, so I rich pay for, for it. Oh, my God. You know, the deal that I have with uh, Storyblocks, which is the people who are doing this, is uh, that uh, I can, you, you know, I can use the mu music all I want. Mm. Forever. Forever. Mm. Because I paid for it once, and I can use it forever. Oh, okay. And they're saying, no, you can't. You got, you got a pain in it. I'm going, fuck you. You know? Oh. I hate I hate YouTube. Did you hear that, YouTube? I hate you. i got to tell you something quick, too, Alex. You might find interesting, guys. I was watching a, on PBS last night a documentary on uh, Mondale and Ferrara. And in one of the interviews with uh, with uh, Geraldine Ferrara, it had to be in the early 80s, the guy on the radio show who was interviewing her in New York had a good guy shirt on that you had, Alex, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. I don't know who it was, though. I'd have to re It's on PBS running it, but he had a good guy shirt. He might have been on WMCA. You know, it's where they... He had the shirt on interview. Had to be like 1983, 84. It was around the time when they went against Reagan. That yeah. could running. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, so, uh, Geller, what's new? Anything? Hmm. There's this... I know you hate rumors, but 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 it's it's capturing Twitter the, the, today. Uh, Trump is banging Laura Loomer. Really? That the picture? I, yeah. I gotta Google that. Then. Picture, video. Yeah. Why would she even sleep with? There's this? a picture of her banging him. No, <laughs> no, no. They're having sex. They're 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 wrapping. That's kind of what that means, Tony. It's a little slow. <laughs> We'll, we'll explain it to you later, Tony. Yes. Anyway, Don. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. So that what is that's just a rumor, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean they're they're not gonna they're not gonna proclaim it. Well he know we know he they're hanging out with each other. Every night. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who is she? I never heard of her. Neither have I. Uh she's an unstable Trump supporter. Who, who makes outrageous claims, and uh, right now she's she's in a Twitter battle with Marjorie Green. Oh, I'd love this. Marjorie that. Taylor Green is saying that this woman Lo 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 Loomer is uh, is uh, anti-Semitic or something like really? that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And remember this this picture or the, that video I played uh, last Monday? Yeah. I, I put, I put, the, I, this is just a screen capture. Mm -hmm. 
that I put on Twitter mm-hmm. on Monday. It's got 969,000 views. What? What? Wow. 969,000 views? Oh, my God. Uh, that's not it. There it is. Wow. Well, you know, I think this country that we uh, live in is, is getting totally crazy. You think? Well, <laughs> there's nothing crazy about that outside of the fact that, I, you know, who knows why it <laughs> got that many, you know. But. Uh, How do you spell her name? L O O M L O O M E R. M E R. Okay, I want to Google and see if I can find it. Loomer. If if you have Twitter, I'm, I'm, I don't call it X. Just call it Twitter. Um, there, there, there's 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 a her name is featured as one of the most uh, tagged names today, oh. so it's easily findable there. Well, because nobody knows who she is, and they want to yeah. find no, out. It, well, yeah. Uh, no, people on Twitter know who she is. Really? Yeah. Why, well, I never heard of her. Well, because you're never on Twitter. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. And I might well, not be on, on YouTube you much longer either. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten to really hate YouTube, you know. Your basic uh, generation of scumbags. <laughs> yeah. I just want them to try and take me off. You know? Then I can get my get some of my attorneys to go after them. Wait a minute. I don't have any attorneys anymore. Oh, well. <laughs> well Is that Mr. Turtle? Yeah, Mr. Turtle. Now, oh. you, have a, now you have a use for the Shecky money. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Oh. oh, wait a minute. I thought he was buying Brian's old McLaren <laughs> no. so he could drive around New York. Yeah. I don't think he can get out of it. <laughs> He's going to end up on his face. You mean that I can get out of it? Yeah, there's oh. a video of a guy getting out of a Ferrari like that, and the, he ends up on the ground rolling to get up. Yeah. yeah. Are you implying that I'm fat? No, no, not ro- no. no, not that. I mean, it, it's it's well, it's hard to get in and out of these things. Cool. Well, but that's because you were fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that wasn't the point. I mean, <laughs> in my case, it was. Yeah. But Brian talked about some older guy coming out of a Ferrari. He has a McLaren. And, and yeah. the guy ended up rolling out onto the street. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. What else is there to talk about? Well, that's it for tonight. Oh, you're gonna ask you what? Something, uh, what? What? You're going to ask me something? You're going to ask me something? Yeah, you know, I have a note. Funny you said, remember you saw we see that on the show? And I found in my, one of my old Gmails that Shecky sent me. It was like an image. He said it out. It was on the CBS station. Alex, let me ask you something. AXE. <laughs> I was left. I saved it. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. Yeah. No, no, I forgot what I was going to... Oh, uh, what the hell was I going to... I should have wrote it down. Uh, it was something... Oh, I was going to say the Penguin starts, I think, next week, Alex. I was going to tell you that. I know. Oh, okay. I was going to... Oh, I wasn't sure if you were... Okay. <sighs> yes. The you, yes, yes looks good. So a friend of mine that likes to check into these things sends this Canton woman, Canton, Ohio, that was arrested for eating a cat not a dog and and he likes to fact check that by the way she is a u.s citizen born in ohio <clears throat> and not an immigrant hmm. so that's yeah. where the story started it yes. is it is yeah yes yeah so it wasn't uh she wasn't no, but, yeah so cnn talked about that she like curry yeah, CNN talked about that last time. But in, in it, you go to, when I was in Vietnam, there are areas that eat dog, and, and that's a delicacy. Oh, absolutely. There are per- places so. that, yeah, outside our country. And then you go to India, and they won't eat cow, right? And we, you know, cows <laughs> don't live too long in the U.S. They d- no. Yeah, they don't have a good lifespan in the United <laughs> they States. They don't have that future. So, you know, and I know people love dogs and cats in the U.S. So, yeah. But it's it's you know how's dinner how's dinner doing your cat's name 
Then I, he's, he, he's walking around. Yeah, they, uh, he's doing good. That's, does, 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 does this American woman uh, uh, go to Haitian restaurants? I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. hmm. Boy. I come here over, ate anything, was in 80. What? I ate something. I, I was in 80 for a couple of weeks. And I can't remember what their food was. Probably monkey butts, right? No, nah, I don't think so. I probably was in the fanciest restaurant. Well, when I was in, in town, when I was in uh, uh, Sweden, Sweden, Denmark, wherever, Denmark, uh, I ate uh, reindeer. Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Was it Sweden? Well, yeah, I, I've been to Sweden, Hummer, and they huh? have a couple of these like restaurants that you go downstairs, oh. downstairs, downstairs, and they have uh, they have reindeer. I've had reindeer in Sweden. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? You ate, you ate <laughs> when you don't know what no. it is, it's, when you don't know Rudolph. what it is, it's terrific. I mean, we were doing our show uh, in uh, well, it was in this Lillehammer, which is mm -hmm. in Denmark, I believe, but Lillehammer. And uh, every day I went next door to get some hamburgers for Lori and I. And they were great <laughs> hamburgers. And we just loved them. We would buy like five of them and eat them. We loved them that much. And then all of a sudden somebody mm -hmm. tells you, you know what you're eating, don't you? And I said, no. They said, reindeer. <gasps> they used the chocolate meat for How Was it good? Wait, wait, it's very, very, I thought it was terrific. I mean, apparently we bought five of them a day a piece. I mean, I love burgers too. I probably, I probably, if you gave it to me and didn't tell me what it was, I probably would like it. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I, I thought it was hamburgers. I just thought it was very delicious hamburgers. The yeah. thing, and I eat, I eat White Castle, so I don't really get it. You know? <laughs> yeah, people at McDonald's, and that they don't even know what that meat oh, is. I love White Castle. Yeah, I like White Castle. Oh, I used to stick it into. From a kid, I was a kid. Oh, I had that all. <laughs> It had that aroma to it. I love watching you make the burgers when they're flipping them over. It's like, oh. What? At, 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 at uh, where'd he go? At White Castle. White Castle. Yeah. Working on the grill. Yeah, I love seeing them put the onions on it and they're flipping it over. You can watch them cook it. Yeah, well, I mean, they don't exactly cook it. <laughs> they do so. I just love the smell of it. Oh. Yeah. We used to sneak him into the old Elmwood movie theater. What it was, because you, you couldn't really bring food in, but we used to always sneak him in our bag, and we watched the movie. We started eating the hamburgers. We were like, "This guy's got the kids got burgers." Don't say on. <laughs> can I can I play this? Uh, it's uh, maybe a minute long. Yeah. Uh, it's Dave talking to a Chinese woman who eats exotic foods. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, play a little bit of it. Yeah, um, YouTube's gonna love this. Can you hear that? Things that you never would dream of telling. It's quite exotic, some of the food, right? Uh, I had last week um, the nose of a deer, uh, the paw of a bear. Um, I had a. Um, have you ever had the hump of a camel? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he wishes at this point that she wasn't there. We're not hearing any more audio. Can you hear? Can you hear it's just applause. Never have. Oh, there oh. Good answer, Dave. I never have. Yeah, I, mean, I was younger. I was pretty good. <laughs> Okay, oh, wait a minute. Here comes Bree. He's going to tell us about Bree. stuff you wouldn't want to think of. Well, he lives overseas, so he might have had a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you heard that. He, Dave said, uh, when I was younger, I was pretty good. Hmm. If, well, he ever had, if he ever had a hump of a camel. A hump of a camel. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. How many people know what's in that hump? that hump? Don't say anything, uh, Don. <laughs> It could How be the reason why no some of that stuff cut out is it may be Zoom censoring it. Uh, it might could be. be. Could so. be. You know. So does well, anybody could... does anybody but Don and me know what 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 type of material is in the hump on the camel? No, just you. Really? I'm sure you'll Google it. It's probably in the paperwork behind you. It's it's fat. 
You know, like like Brie? body fat is Br what's in the hump. Bree isn't uh, isn't coming through. No. Yeah, he's probably here. eating his camel right now. <laughs> no, I don't see. No, I'm here. He likes to show oh, you. You're, you're there, Bree. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right. You're going to tell us something unusual you've eaten in the, in Malaysia, right? Or in your world travels? Oh, just lots of things. Okay. But uh, actually, the one was in Italy, and I didn't. I couldn't read the menu. I mean, you would think you're in Italy. You would, you could understand spaghetti or penne <laughs> or Possibly. rigatoni or something. Yeah. But I didn't recognize anything on the menu, so I just pointed. And everybody was very excited that I had ordered this. And it was delivered to me. It was tripe. I love oh. tripe. Oh, I, 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 I made you know, tripe. Great about it. That's fish, right? And the, the woman next to me no. had offered to translate, but mm -hmm. I said, no, no, no. She got a wonderful steak with, <laughs> you know, potatoes and vegetables. Uh, no, tripe is not trout. So, the intestines. No, right? it's a fish, though, right? Well, uh, I no, no it's, it's the no, no. It, it, intestines of a cow. Intestines. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Well, don't do. Don't don't say that. My or... mother, my mother used to make it all the time for me. Really? It's when I was a kid. Fish. So if you're a kid and your mother makes you this kind of unusual That's true. food, that. Yeah, my mom it becomes it becomes so. comfort food. That's true. You know, my mother right. did the pasta and I learned how to make tripe so I could have it for myself. And there it is. There's a good bowl of tripe right it's there. Right. It's, a, it's, a, it's a very common. That's right. It's a very common. Uh, thanks, Don. That was pretty. It's it's a very <laughs> common. Do you feel like you're a kid again, then? I don't know. Tony, can somebody get a word in edgewise? Oh. Talked I, over Alex. I don't. I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if it's. Uh, uh, I. I think it's Italian. If I'm not mistaken. Really? Yes. Well, um, I was in Italy. Yeah. Okay. I was in I, Florence, Italy. My mother used to make it when I was a kid, too. I just figured it was a Jewish kid. And let me tell you, uh, I was with two fashion models. One was from Switzerland. One was from Mexico. Uh -huh. My friend was actually German. I don't know where she was that night. But we went out drinking later at La Dolce Vita. And let me tell you, you don't want to be drunk and have had tripe for dinner. Mm. They well, come really. Uh, Does it come up? Yeah. But I remember walking through Florence with Mexican and Swiss fashion models because my friend worked for. Uh, okay, Gucci. you you, you made fashion. your point. You you were you were going out with French fashion models and uh, uh, where whatever. How much did they cost an hour? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I was young and. I was. I looked like uh, Billy Idol and Nick Kershaw. People would confuse me for that. Really? Oh, really? Wow. That. So it yes. must have cost more than by the hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So that's all you've had. That strange is tripe. No, I've had other things. I've had, that was I, I've had rattlesnake. I've had, uh, alligator. had alligator. 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 I used to alligator. eat. Uh, I used to eat uh, uh, on a rather regular basis. Uh, uh, snail. I've had snail. That, uh, that, I, they, you get that in a French restaurant. Escargot, Escargot they call it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Alex, did you read? There was a story in the news. Uh, I, I don't know when it was, but there was a guy who, on a dare, it might have been a fraternity brother or something. Like, he picked up a snail and ate it. And within like three or four hours, he was paralyzed for life. Oh, why? Wow. You can read it. If you Google it, I'm sure it's there. It was a news story. You know, a uh, guy eats snail, becomes paralyzed, fraternity or something. Well, like yeah, that. first of all, don't eat them raw. Second of all, you don't eat them off the ground. They're farm raised and they eat cornmeal. Yeah. Let me look it up. Yeah. So, but you're looking it up to see if anybody died from that. Yeah. He died. He ate a he ate a slug on a dare. Oh, a slug. He became slug. paralyzed and died. A slug. It was in Australia. Was well, a slug is a different thing altogether. Yes. Yes. It was. He died from rat lungworm disease. Huh. He mm -hmm. ate a slug on a dare. Who huh. hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> I cut that down. No, but uh, slugs aren't the same as snails. No, no. You know. 
Yeah, yeah, you're right. But let this be the daily public service announcement. Yeah, okay. Don't. He was a rugby player. Wow. So we. Yeah, it was a parasite. It tested his brain. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey. Yeah. So how do you explain RFK Jr.? <laughs> he he ate he ate paint chips with lead in them when he was a kid. Yeah. I don't know what happened. How he got those worms uh, uh, in his brain. But uh, what the hell? Why not? You know, he he didn't clean the toilet. He didn't clean the toilet. <laughs> That's right. Oh boy. So anyway, so I'm out of it. I'm really. I, I I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep talking here it's till the show's over. It's a good thing Don came on to uh, keep you awake. Well, you guys keep talking, and I'll just sit back and listen. Well, thank you so very much for that help. You're the DJ. I'm not a DJ. Uh, Except to Jerry Lewis. Well, wait, was that a compliment or an insult? When he said that? Jerry Lewis can say it, and he's dead. That's why he's dead. I killed him. You know, you know, he but he said many worms. That DJ in New York, you know. You heard you you heard what I played earlier, did you, Gillen? Don. Don. <laughs> we said, all heard it. Yeah, no, I heard it. Oh, okay. All right. Where did you get it? Where did you get the audio? I got it off YouTube. No, there's no video, just the audio. There's video, but oh, I I, awesome. I just played it because to show the video here, I have to go through all kinds of mech, 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 mechanics right. to do it. You know. Let me get it. Huh? Let me get it. It's 1978, and it's the finale where he sings, You'll Never Walk Alone. Right. Every, every year. Huh? No, we used to play it every year. Yeah, well, he would do that every year, yeah. yeah. And this year he did it and dedicated it to me. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, it wasn't wonderful. I was supposedly putting him down, and he was going, oh, I hope I'm good enough for that guy, that disc jockey. Mm. You know. Oh. Boy, it's my so, nose dripping. So did anybody uh. eat uh, guinea pig? Huh? Guinea pig? Did anyone eat guinea pig? No, no. Does anybody eat guinea pig? No, you yeah. only get half a slice of In bacon. Peru. And you're stopped. Oh, I wouldn't intrude on a moment, moment like that. But he, he's looking for it now. Have you eaten guinea pig, Jeff? My wife did. Okay. I decided to pass. <laughs> Probably a smart move. <laughs> I don't know. We went They're together. They're not really a full meal, are they? They're kind of small. They're a little small little things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she goes, like, oh, look at all those little things. Yeah. Let's, and let's, I said, yeah, that's dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm asking you know, where he is, uh, where, where uh, Bree is, there's a lot of unusual foods, you know. Tony is looking up on the Internet how to cook guinea pig right now. He'll be sending me a picture sometime this week. I'm cooking. And here's the I mean, guinea pig. I made cream of chicken the other night. Hmm. Really? Sorry to cut you okay off earlier tonight, Tony. Like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to cut well, you off earlier Well, what about durian? Do you tonight. like durian fruit? Do I like what? Durian. What's durian? You never had durian fruit? No. Durian fruit? What's durian fruit? Yeah. You know what that is. You're just kidding me. It sounds like a gay guy named uh, durian. No, what I I never heard of durian. The fruit. national fruit, of like Singapore and Malaysia. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes like D24, watermelon. X14. Cantaloupe, something like that. Yeah. I always like like they it when eat, they uh, said, you know, hey, it should have rattlesnake. It tastes like chicken. Well, then I should. <laughs> I'll just have some chicken. Well, here we you go. Want to know the difference? Here we go. He got it. You found they, it. Right? I got it. Now I got to get back to it. Yeah. They have catfish cooked here we go. in tempura. Here, here we go again. Let's see. Here. I'm going to try desperately to make it. Can you hear that? Yep. Okay. And that was it. Keep your chin up. Yeah. 
You, can you go back and get it again? Oh, jeez. Oops. Well, I downloaded the whole thing, so I can send you a copy of just that part of it. I don't care about the rest of it. I don't. Right. Here, here we go. He's going to try desperately to make it. Okay. Privilege to hear him screw up this last arrangement. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, Louis. Let's see if we can get it right. To the DJ in New York, I'm going to try desperately to make it. Yeah, thank you. He smiled at me, too. So. My mother used to bring me so much. I, 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 I sat at home and I heard that and I almost <laughs> pissed my pants. That's fine. Yeah, really. Yeah. Now, but but everybody when they heard it go, God, which DJ? Hmm. Oh, okay, all right. Oh boy. Hmm. What I say? Oh boy. God, you need to spray more bathroom spray when you come out. No, I'm I'm nauseous. I'm my just, roommate. I've got. Yeah, you can drink ginger ale. My mother used to say, "Ox, it settles the stomach." Huh? My mother used to say, "Ginger ale." Yeah. Settles the stomach when I have an upset stomach. Yeah, you yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, I'm just feeling, you know, I'm feeling crummy because of the shots yesterday. Exactly. Tomorrow right. I should be better. You say you got the shots yesterday. Yeah. Okay. In the afternoon, I came home. Was a little achy. Got up this morning. I when I was sleeping, I was just aching like mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. you were sleeping well. Yeah. Yeah, but you, but you know what it is, that's so, so it's good. Huh? You know what it is. You know what's causing right. it. Yeah. Yes, of course. But yeah. I don't like how it's making me feel. I'm nauseous and I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stay awake all day. It was terrible. Just well, how is that different from other days? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what is, what, oh, you're cold. <laughs> what is this, Passover? <laughs> how is this day different than all other days? Well, Very good. You know. You don't get that joke, do you, uh, 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 no. Tony? No, which one? I couldn't. And I said, well, why is this night all like any other night? You didn't get that joke. I didn't get that one. No, no. of course not, because you're a Gentile. Probably. Okay. probably yeah, yeah we, 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 <laughs> occasionally we have some Jew humor on the show. Are you Jewish, I'm, Giller? I'm going to be uh, Jewish. Yeah. By birth, that's pretty much it. That, yeah, but I mean, you're Jewish. Okay, all right. Good. Same here, Don. You know? Yeah. At birth and a few few minutes afterwards, the snip, and that was it. Yeah. That's the only thing that would hurt me in the snip. What, what I hated. I do it without the snip. <laughs> That's what I tell. What I hated was Hebrew school. I did too. Because I'd, I'd, I'd be in, in grade school, there'd be a bus to take a bunch oh, of us to Hebrew out. school that started at 4 p.m. Remember, our lunch was at at lunch at, at the at, in the elementary school was at 10:30 a.m. Wow, that's right. uh, Hebrew school was at four. Didn't let out until six. Uh, we had a, a a bus took us back home. I was the last person on the bus. I wouldn't get home till 7:30. Yeah. Oh, and I was starving, and and all I had, I, you know, I, I had whatever dinner was available, and then I had to practice the piano and do my homework, and and then to bed. Wow, wow. Yeah, tough life. Yeah, tough life. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, that's about it uh, for tonight. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sorry, folks, if I was a little slow tonight, but, you know, these guys picked it up for me. And we we lost uh, Brian. I don't know where Brian went. He probably absolutely had to take his car out for a spin. He just realized he had a mohawk. <laughs> what? He just realized that he had a mohawk. I see. I don't get that. Well, I mean, take, I mean he's, got, he's got his hair in the middle. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. You mean Tony? Yeah. Oh, Tony's got a mohawk. No, 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 not Tony. Yeah, no, no, I got Brian. a creep head. Brian. Oh. Brian. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you to uh, Alan for being here tonight. We thank Tony for having joined us. Bree, always a pleasure to have you here. And, of course, Don Giller, a man who I consider one of the funniest men in the universe. Okay. Thank you so much, Don, and thanks to everybody. Did I thank everybody? Yeah, I did. Okay, everybody, have a good night. And just uh, uh, just wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. 
Uh, and uh, oh, look, wait a minute. Uh, here's uh, uh, here's uh, uh, Giller again as the dog. All right, fine. Anyway, we'll see you again. Uh, 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 next is the intersection with uh, Amy Manuel. And we'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? But, but, wait, that's a great shot, Jeff. Uh, hey, <laughs> tell her I love her. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.